I think it's fair to say golfers have an absolute plethora of new drivers to consider in 2023. But have we all been sleeping on the driver that could be the one to beat? Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. And this could be the one that really puts the cat amongst the pigeons this year. And yes guys, that is snow. So um, if you appreciate me being out in the snow, hit that subscribe button and throw a like on this video. Now back to the Mizuno STZ driver, how good does this look? We all know that carbon has been a huge factor this year in new golf club releases. Spoiler alert, that's how I struck it in testing. And I can't wait to show you the numbers because it's almost as impressive as well this opening tee shot. It's almost like one of those hold my beers moments this, isn't it? But that. Like this sounds totally different to any Mizuno drive that I've ever tested. That's cut the corner, that's flying miles down that fairway and I actually managed to get it out the middle of the face. And you see with all the drivers that I've tested so far this year, the Ping G430, the TaylorMade Stealth 2, the Callaway Paradigm, for me this is probably the most traditional looking, not in a sense of on the bottom, but a sense of that kind of nice black face, a sense of yeah there's a bit of a carbon crown but nothing too garish and also a sense of the name, Mizuno STZ. Now there's also an STX which I've been told not to ignore, that's supposed to be the kind of draw bias forgiving version. I can't wait to test that but this looks so good down at the ball. I love that little sleek Mizuno logo is the aim point, they've greyed it out a little bit, they've shaded it out so it's not too garish. And that's another one just over that corner. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to talk numbers very, very soon in this video, so make sure you do stay tuned. But that's another one where I feel like it just sounds better than any of them. Yeah, one more. And for me, there's so many good drivers out this year that it is kind of going to be hard to decipher which one to use if you are in the market for a new driver. I know lots of people probably aren't. But if you are, what do you want the most? Do you want that extra long, low spin drive when you get it out of the middle? Do you want that bit of forgiveness or do you want everything wrapped into one and be very, very consistent? That's what, that's what I'm seeing. Can I just say that it wasn't supposed to snow today? That's why I'm out here. I'm not in the, the business of coming out in freezing temperatures. Orlando next week, is it gonna snow then? Right, same shot. Oh, wow. I didn't think the first two could get any better, but that's almost that strike where it's a tiny bit out the toe, so it's drawn a little bit. Spin rate's probably dropped two or 300 RPM, and that could be absolutely massive. Now, when it comes to tech in this club, there's quite a lot to go at. Obviously, there's a lot of carbon that we can speak about. That's so that Mizuno can kind of reposition weight where they need to, to make it a bit more forgiving. And also, a new Cortex chamber, which is a little bit like a kind of speed pocket in the bottom of the face, so you can get more ball speed on those kind of low hits. But there's also stunning sound and feel that this driver does give you. Now, when I first picked it up, I thought, this feels a bit light. It doesn't feel like I can maybe generate the power of a G430, of a Stealth 2, of a Callaway Paradigm. But then looking at this actual on-course dispersion, I mean, two there and one, that's definitely the last one. That's quite frighteningly good. Will you consider putting this driver in your golf bag, guys? I want you to get in the comments below, yes or no. I don't mind, I just want to know why yes or why no. Throw a like on the video while you're out there as well, because it is freezing. I'm not gonna lie, it's turned really cold. And this is almost a bit of a breath of fresh air for me from Mizuno, because I really enjoyed the Mizuno ST190, I really enjoyed the Mizuno ST200, and they sort of lost the way a little bit for me in the last few years with the driver releases. And a lot of people were saying Mizuno should just focus on irons. They make fantastic irons, maybe make the wedges as well to match up the sets. But then they go and release this and everything starts to make a little bit more sense again. Now, I almost feel like Mizuno are definitely going for the bigger boys with this. This is gonna retail recommended price at 499. So it's certainly up there with the more expensive drivers this year as opposed to the more budget ones. Now, that Cortex chamber on this new STZ230, as well as create more ball speed on those low hits, as I said, it is designed to create more speed from the middle of the face, less spin, and deliver an incredible solid sensation impact Mizuno claim, while the carbon sole plate is now a single piece to allow the weight to be pushed to the extremes for overall stability. And as you can imagine, there's also adjustability on this club, so you can have it standard, you can have it lower, you can have it a little bit more upright. So if you struggle with a little bit of a slice, the upright setting could help you massively. 
you can of course go that bit higher if you want it is almost offering everything isn't it especially for me i'm going to say it again the looks so we hit some lovely big high draws on that last hole this hole requires a bit of a fade can we do so i'll tell you what i mean that started a lot further left than i wanted it to but that's done exceptionally well like that felt really, really healy, and I was worried that that was going to stay out there, but it did fade back. And when I thought, I'll throw that ball flight on screen again for you. I'll tell you what, I mean, that started a lot further left than I wanted it to, but it really wouldn't surprise me if that ball speed was down in the 140s. One thing I certainly think this is lacking a touch of is that ball speed and forgiveness on off centres. Could still do a little bit better with that compared to others. That's the one. That is absolutely perfect for this hole. I find myself saying that about the ball speed and then just thinking, James, just put a better swing on it, just hit it out of, well, there. That is perfect. Right, if these three are all in the same cluster as they were on the first hole, I'll be amazed. I'll be absolutely amazed. Same shot, over the corner. Yes, James. And that's not a shot that I would be overly comfortable with normally. Normally, I'd be worried about double crossing that and sending it into the trees on that left side. This thing's good. Very good. I'm already looking forward to all the comparison videos that I'm going to be able to make this year because the driver lineups are pretty darn strong. Let's see where they are. Now, one of the biggest accolades that I can give Mizuno here is that quite often when you look at tall players kind of contracts and club contracts, now I don't know this for a fact, but looking in the bags of certain tall players, you do kind of see that players will play Mizuno because they want to use their irons. They know that the irons are probably the best around, they know they feel the best and perform the best. And in the past, the players haven't really used a Mizuno driver. Whereas now you've got players who aren't contracted who actually want to go and try the Mizuno driver. That would never have happened before until now. And um, I mentioned about that consistency. Yes, we have one in the bunker. That was definitely the first shot. That was that low Healy one. But look at those two just up there. That for me, that's scarily really consistent. Guys, let's jump in the studio. Let's see just how this driver did perform. Then we're gonna have one last hurrah with this and see if we can bomb one down the middle of my nemesis hole. I hate that hole. Let's see how it performed. look at this for a start line by the way like I was really really excited to test this driver inside because for me as I've mentioned already in this video Mizuno almost lost the way a little bit but I do feel like this is kind of a resurrection for me the ST190 the ST200 were fantastic drivers this one nearly finishes on the line it is really really nice and for me I really like the feel of this I like the sound of it I was really excited to see how it did perform and the start lines for me were really really good I don't think it's going to be the longest driver of the year but looking at that one there that you've just seen, it's certainly no slouch. I've tried to hit as many drives as I physically could, to be honest, without injuring myself, because I was really enjoying the feel and the sound, which I don't always do. And this shot kind of sums up the day. Probably one of the longest ones. This is the sixth hole, I think, at the farms, or the fourth hole at the farms. Look at them, 156.5 on average ball speed, launching at 14.8, maybe a little bit high launch for me, potentially. Spinning perfectly on the number at 2,420, I quite like that. An average carry of 278, so probably a little bit down on some of the clubs I have seen this year. But again, I really like the stability of this, and I like how consistent it is. Let's jump back out there and see if I can hit that fairway. Now let's see if I can hit this nemesis of a fairway using this Mizuno STZ 230 driver. I even like the name. Like for me, names have been quite a contentious issue this year, but STZ 230 for me, yes please, Labyrinth, that'd be a name for a driver. So I always go in the pond on the left here generally. I'm gonna try and just hit it straight. We've hit some draws, we've hit some fades. It's all, to be honest, this review has gone probably as well as it could have done, and it stopped snowing. So if you didn't throw a like on it for snowing, Throw a like on it for stopping snowing and subscribe straight. I mean, it's a little bit cutty, but that is safe as houses. That's one of them where I think the ball speed's probably a bit lower. It's out there around 250, 260, but I'm going to take it all day on this hole that I really despise. Guys, that is my review of the brand new Mizuno STZ 230 driver. Smash that subscribe button if you've enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.